Good morning all. Myself Manjuna Piyar, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, JIT, Tawangere. So today I am going to explain the problem on projection of planes. In that, I am going to explain the second problem. So first I will go through the question. An equilateral triangular lamina of 25 mm size, which is lies on one of its sides on HP. The lamina makes 45 degree with HP. And one of its median is inclined at 40 degree to VP. Draw its projections. So this is what the question we have here. So first we have to write the uh, data based on the given condition in the problem. There are three conditions are here. So one is that's what equilateral triangular lamina, which is what 25 mm size, rest on one of its sides on HP. And second condition is the lamina which makes 45 degree with HP. And third one is the median, the same median which is inclined to VP at 40 degree. So now it's what the problem, he has mentioned the word median. So median is nothing but that's what if the word median as well as perpendicular bisector and also that's what diagonal. If these three words mentioned in the question, so let me know that it is a problem on beta angle problem. Okay. Now you have to construct a beta angle for the and find the beta angle for the even equilateral triangular plane. So let me go for first draw the uh, reference line. The thickness of the reference line should be 0.13 mm. Draw a xy line. Go for text command to type x and y. xy. So there are two planes are here. Uh, one is vertical plane and horizontal plane. So now above the xy plane, so called as vertical plane, below the xy line, called as horizontal plane, that's what top plane. So go for first condition, construct the triangular plane, that's what equivalent to triangular plane of 25 mm size, rest on one of its sides on HP. So it means what here the triangular plane which is resting on HP with one of its sides. So actually there are, it has three sides. So as we know that each side should be 25 mm. So it is resting on HP. So whether the problem is constructing the either left hand side or right hand side, that's very important here. So uh, as per our uh, consideration, we have taken left side as a reference line for the planes. So for solids, we have taken right side reference planes. So now I am going to construct the triangle with left side, uh, left side reference. So first, so first construct the triangular plane with a thickness of 0.5 mm and sides is 25 mm sides. 25 mm sides, give the length of 25 mm sides, angle should be 0 degree initially. Next length is again 25 mm. Another side, angle should be 120 degree. And remaining line should be 25. And angle is minus 120 degree. So this is what the construction of triangle plane. So now all sides are equal here. So now you have to rotate this one based on the side condition or also called as edge condition. So rotate the, rota use the rotate command, so select the whole entity, then select any one side which is going to be rotate. So I am going to select the left hand side, so because the plane should be taken left side view. So I will click on the cut and move, cut and rotate. So now the vertical indication means exactly the triangular plane in the vertical, vertical to the xy line. So just you have to move to little bit upwards for your convenient heart. So this is what the construction of the triangle, equilateral triangle of size 25 mm and resting on edges. So 25 mm. Now give the name for that. Go for text command again. So go for namings A, B, C, I call this one as A and B and another side called, another corner called C. There are three sides and three corners are here. So I call this one as A, B, C. So now it is in the top plane. Now construct the uh, lines, project the lines towards up for the front view. So thickness again should be 0.13 mm. So construct up to the reference line from each points towards up 
then Doya, Lamena, so that's what from C to A or A to C. So now actually the toggle code it is called true shape of a triangle whereas in the front view so it is only uh, view as a appeared as a line when the observer from the front view it is looks like a one line it is called plane or also called as lamina so now use the naming for that so first here from the top view from the front view so it is b dash uh, b is visible and a is invisible and so i put b dash of a dash all the front view we have to express it as with dashes and here c dash is a one to one corner it is easily visible and so you have to express it as c dash so in the observer from the front view so a dash the point a is uh, invisible so hence i put as a a dash here in the bracket i mentioned in the bracket so visible points will be expressed without the brackets so this is what the construction of the circular uh, triangular plane so now it's for the front view now go for the second case what is the second condition here the lamina inclined to hp at 45 degree so lamina means that's what b dash to c dash it's the lamina you have to incline to hp make it inclined to hp at 45 degree so now go for move option move command so I select the whole entity which is going to be move so now be aware of the copy and move we require copy and move here so now list down exactly on the xy line exactly on xy line so this is what the construction of uh, moving the lamina and it should be inclined to hp at 45 degree so now go for rotate command select the whole lamina from b dash to c dash so now you have to input the value of angle to hp is 45 degree and the position angle should be same 45 degree so this is what the inclination of lamina is 45 degree to hp so now we have to cross check the angle whether it is exactly at 45 degree or not okay so it is exactly 45 degree so after construction construct, uh, construct the front view so go for construction the construction to top view so from the each points each points from the front view to top view so project the vertical lines towards downwards from each point like this then again project the horizontal lines towards right towards the right side even from each points from A, B, C So and also one more thing we need to construct here that is what medium, medium here actually the problem it is a medium inclined to VP so the problem is on medium so now we have to construct the median also here draw a median in the first position that is what that is what the median so I call this one so I call this point as D1 so for for kind of reference I have taken this one as a D1 okay. so trim the unnecessary things here okay. so now construct the same uh, reduced picture in the top view go for the thickness should be 0.5 mm so here from the front view to top view construct the front view to top view so start from a point a you have the vertical line a dash and horizontal line both are intersecting at here i call this point as a and here similarly draw this is what point b then this is what the point c and ultimately again join to a. Okay. 
so this is what the reduced shape or also called as apparent shape apparent shape of the plane so give the namings for that for all the sides I mean corners A so this is what the B this is what And call one more name that's what point D. Point D. So his second stage is over. Let's go for the third stage. Uh, the third stage is the triangle that median, which is inclined to VP at 40 degree. So this median, I mean CD, CD is inclined to VP at 40 degree. So for that, draw a line of 40 degree line first. Draw a 40, 40 degree line. It should be thickness of 0.13 mm. To a convenient distance, draw a line. Angle should be minus 40 degree because it is moving downwards. Check the angle. This was drawn. Exactly, it is 40 degree. Now, so let me know that I already explained that to you. Uh, that is what the median problem. If you given the word median in the problem, so obviously we need to determine the angle of beta here. So for that, first go for the true shape value. That is what true shape median. True value of the median. CD1 is length is 21.65. You have to note down this one 21.65. So go for that, first take this distance on the 40 degree line. In order to construct that one, you have to select the arc by center point command, arc by center point, take, select any convenient point on the 40 degree line. So the radius should be 21.65, 21.65. So we have taken the arc by center point, just cut the length of 21.65. So actually, this is what 21.65 and it should be also 21.65. So the, this point called point C and this is what the point D1. So I will uh, write that one. So point C and this is what point D1. This is what the true length, true shape or true length of the triangular median. So now draw a now measure the apparent length of the median so in the reduced shape so actually it is a continuous length here so now you have to make it stick this one so i want length only from c to d so select the element which is going to be split so next exactly you have to look at the midpoint of at the point d so now the line is fitted here we got the length of cd is 15.31 okay now you have to take this distance 15.31 as a radius with C as a center and before that you have to draw a locus line here, draw a locus line from D1 with thickness of 0.13 mm. From the D1 draw a locus line towards left. After construct the locus line, so select uh, check the length of CD. That's what reduce shape median. 15.31. Go for arc by center point. So I want to find the point C on the 40 degree line. So it's not visible here. So when I put the curve, uh, cursor on that point uh, on half, I will find the point C. So now that's what 15.31. point three one so cut the arc on locus line so once again check it it is fifteen point three one and C D also should be fifteen point three one so I got this point as D here so I'm going to express the point here point D so now I want to construct this line C D D to C okay go for line command measure the so first draw a line 
and that's getting the intersection point. Don't draw the line here. Okay. Once you get the intersection point, it will be exactly. You can draw the line. Make it zoom. Use the scroll button in the mouse to zoom the particular area. I'll extend from D to C. Now you I'll go for extend command. Use the extend command. Extend the line up to the x y line. Now measure the angle. That's what beta angle for the beta line. So the angle, the obtained angle is 65 degree. The obtained angle is 65 degree. This what the exact angle. So now we need to construct the CD, the same reduced shape of triangle plane. It will be inclined to 60, uh, 65 degree to VP. Now we have to place CD on this 65 degree line. So for that we already know that one. So go for move command. Just select the whole entity which is going to be move. Okay. So during the move or rotating option, so be aware of the move and copy and cut and copy. So I will select the point C. Just place it on the point C here. Okay, now it is exact on the point C. Now rotate the same entity. Rotate the same entity. From C to D. Select the line from C to D. So now it should be on 65 degree line. Just you have to place rotate CD on 65 degree line. Delete the unnecessary things. Now we'll type the points here is for point A. So what B okay. so now you you can zoom it. The line C D it is exactly on the sixty five sixty five degree line. So I mean this sixty five degree is what the angle of beta which was required. So now project the lines from top view to front view from each points from A from and from the point B ultimately from the point C. So once you construct the lines towards front view then again project the lines from C dash to right side and also from B dash and A dash both are on the same line. the unnecessary lines here then go for last step last stage construction of triangular plane in the front view at the last stage so now start from the point A I mean front front view points are called as A dashes I call this one as A dash so A and B on the same line here so start from point A that's what A then the vertical line B is here and it is on the xy line also b dash is also on the xy line hence it is called b dash then the vertical line c and horizontal line c dash both are meeting at here so it is called c dash and again from c to a dash okay. so this is what the obtained triangular shape in the front view so we call this one as c dash this one called as A dash and B dash. So this for the projections of a plane of triangular equilateral triangular, triangular lemon of 25 mm sides. So now is what the required shape of triangular 
equilateral triangular plane in a last stage, third stage. This completes the problem one.